out of these 14 gorgeous, amazing pieces from all over the continent, would you like to select one of them? Well, let me start with selecting the chair that I'm sitting on. It's a beautiful red chair made by a very a highly respected designer, Sheikh Diallo from Mali. Um, Sheikh has an architectural background, but has been working in the space of furniture and product design for many years now. He brings a certain um, uniqueness to his work. He brings in great integrity to his work. I just think he's a great example, and I know that many younger designers from the continent look up to him. The beautiful red chair, which you could say almost matches my red hair, is quite geometric in its shape. Um, it's made from nylon wire and metal. Um, to look at it, and many people say, oh, it doesn't look very comfortable, and then they sit on it, and the ergonomics of it are just brilliant. Talking about beauty, I can see over there there's a very interesting long slender mirror with beautiful drawers. Is it made from wood? Is this from ebony? Yes, this is a piece by a designer um, called Jean Sauvé Somian from Ivory Coast, Côte d'Ivoire. And um, Jean has made this coiffeuse from a trunk of a palm tree. The tree has been carved and he's created a tall slender mirror within the shape of the trunk of the tree. It's called a coiffeuse and there are drawers um, towards the bottom third, if you like, of the, the trunk. It has a circular base and it's matched by a beautiful stool. And um, what he has done is a beautiful example of looking at your local environment and using natural materials. He's done it in a very, I think, environmental considered way because this could be a tree that had fallen down was the off cut of something and he said how can I upcycle this how can I um, evolve its use and purpose and you know it catches it's right at the back of the room the, with the light um, hitting the mirror people walk into this big warehouse it's one of the things that immediately catches their attention he's um, varnished it in a beautiful dark color so it has this rich depth of color and very smooth surface as well. Um, it has about five drawers of different depths. Don't go on anymore, I might buy it myself. <laughs> and what about you? All, all this help you're offering to people from around the continent, aren't you a designer? Are you not involved in design in some way yourself? Um, yeah, I guess Africa's by design was inspired by my own design work in the initial instance. Um, I am a trained textile designer. Um, I trained at Chelsea College of Art and Design. And um, I created my own brand, Amwa Designs. And Amwa Designs is very much um, a homeware and interiors product-based brand. Is that one of your cushions over there that I can see? Let's go over and have a look. Okay. These are two um, cushions of mine. There are many more different colorways. Um, the yellow and gunmetal gray one that you see, it, each, I must say that all the fabrics I produce are hand printed, um, printed onto linen, and um, the, the cushion inner is made from duck feather. Um, it, I think you'll agree if you feel it, it's very firm but soft as well, and very comforting. Yeah. Oh, lovely, absolutely lovely. And I, I like the way the two colours go together, the sort of almost ochre yellow and the gunmetal grey, beautiful. I've taken traditional Adinkra symbols from Ghana and for anyone that doesn't know about Adinkra there are hundreds of symbols, they've existed for hundreds of years and they're intended to encourage personal well-being and social harmony and so they each have proverbs attached to them and so on. Um, in the yellow cushion that we're looking at the symbol here um, has evolved from the symbol Aya which also means fern, the plant. And ferns are known for being able to grow in very difficult environments and to be very resilient. And I really love, I think that's so powerful to combine beautiful design with meaningful design, especially for your personal living space, because whether it's consciously or subconsciously, that's a very empowering um, thing to surround yourself with. Yeah, Be absolutely fantastic cushions, all comfortable, I'm sure. Now, what about this market here in Dubai? Uh, how do you think African products are going to be received here? 
I think that Africa shares many cultural similarities with the Middle East. So it's not a new thing for Africa to collaborate with the Middle East. I think that this exhibition, Africa by Design, is showing people that the narrative of design from the continent is so much more broad, it's so much more diverse, it's rich, it's beautiful. It will fulfill some of your stereotypes or assumptions, and it will also question some of those. And we are just hitting the tip of the iceberg. Africa by Design has featured 26 different designers in total but that you know in a continent so big how much more talent is out there